I'm Lisa from Explore um, and I'm going to be talking to you today about our sustainability journey um, but before I do I just want to show you our brand manifesto video if that's okay because it'll give you a little bit of an idea of um, our approach to travel and what we do at Explore. Travel is just the start. You travel to your aunt's house for Easter. Some people travel to work. Are you travelling for business? They ask. Now exploring, that's what creates the pulse. That's what Mark Twain did, and Alice in Wonderland. If travel is the route from A to B, exploring is the meandering road. It's the unmarked side street, or the curious turn-off. When you explore, you don't just focus on getting somewhere. Your eyes are wide open, your senses alert. It would be easy to follow the crowds to the famous sites and check them off your list, but we'll never just do that. We prefer going a little deeper, making friends inside smaller groups, treading lightly, and being mindful of local communities. If travel is asking for directions, exploring is taking the time to sit down with a stranger. If travel lets you see the world, exploring makes you feel it. Don't just travel, explore. Thank you. So hopefully this now gives you a bit of an idea of our approach to travel if you aren't already familiar with Explore. Um, so what I'm going to do now is just take you through a few slides that tell you a little bit about our approach to sustainability. Um, if you just bear with me, my presentation isn't popping up at the moment for me. Um, if we can pop that on, please. Thank you. Um, so a little bit about who we are, um, other than the adventure, um, other than the video. So we are a small group adventure travel company. Uh, we've been doing this for over 40 years now. Um, and this is all we do. And this is all about um, taking customers to have amazing, unforgettable experiences, traveling with expert tour leaders in small groups. And really importantly for today's subject about being responsible at heart. Um, so what does that actually mean? Well, in the business, we talk a lot about being better than yesterday. Um, this is what informs everything that we do. So what does be better than yesterday mean? It's an acknowledgement that we do a great job, we think, in a lot of areas, but we aren't perfect. We can always do things better. And we're always try trying to strive to learn and improve. So when we're talking about being better than yesterday, we're talking about growing, improving and really influencing our customers' choices um, to make better decisions for the planet and the people. So all values at Explore are all about respecting local communities and ensuring that they benefit from tourism. Um, we want to minimise our impact on wildlife and the environment in the destinations that we go to and ensure that the people who work for us are treated well and they work in a safe environment and are paid fairly. So, I mean, these are all great values. Surely these are what we all want to do. Um, but we really do live and breathe it at Explore. So our sustainability journey now. Um, so... We um, talk about sustainability an awful lot. We have a sustainability manager, um, so it's not something that's a sideline for us. It is a full-time job for someone in our organisation, but she isn't the only person that is involved. Everyone in the business is involved in our sustainability missions. Um, so you may know we're part of Hotel Plan, and Hotel Plan were launch partners of the Glasgow Declaration. Um, so we started creating our Climate Action Plan back in 2020 when we became one of the founding signatories. Um, and our climate action plan I'm going to move on to shortly. But this year, we, per we published our first ever purpose paper. So the purpose paper is fantastic. It's a document setting out our achievements so far and our goals and what we're aiming to do. And the reason we did this is for real transparency. I know some of the other sessions this week have talked about being transparent, being open, the travel community working together to make improvements. And this is what this is all about. We don't want to gatekeep what we're doing. We want to share our successes and learn from other people's successes as well and failures to make sure that as an industry, we're all doing a little bit better. So what is our climate action plan? So there are a few steps that we've had to work through. The first thing we needed to do was measure and we needed to measure absolutely everything. So without knowing where we started from, we couldn't know where we needed to be. Um, and what we did is we measured the carbon footprint on every single one of our trips. And that information is displayed on the website and it's displayed in the brochure. Now, this isn't about lecturing people. It's not about telling the customers not to go on certain trips because it's got a high carbon footprint. What it's about is giving people the information to make an informed choice. OK, so that's all we're expecting people to do is use that information should they wish to. And then once we knew where we were, we needed to reduce our carbon emissions. 
Um, we're committed to reducing them by 50% by 2030. Now, it's a difficult one, this, because we're a travel business. We fly. We are, of course, going to leave a footprint. It's inevitable. And we can't pretend that we don't have an impact on the environment. But by making decisions on the places that we go, the businesses that we work with in destination, we can really make some great strides towards reductions. Um, and then where we can't reduce, because we can't reduce everything, uh, we want to mitigate. And that means supporting things like carbon removal technologies, and it means supporting rewilding. Um, now, we are a travel company. We're not absolute experts. So to help us with these missions, we do have some fantastic partners. These are not by any means all of the partners want to know more about them please let me know um, I just picked out a few for you to get an idea of what we're doing so climb are a business that we work with um, and these are all about sourcing carbon removal technologies we go for carbon removal rather than carbon offsetting um, because it's a more absolute thing we know we're actually physically removing the carbon from the planet it's not something that may help in a few years time um, so this is a great project that we work with. We also work with Cool Earth, um, who supports indigenous communities in the Amazon rainforest, particularly in Peru, because that's a region that we go to. And this is all about helping the locals there to develop sustainable livelihoods that aren't based around deforestation. And then we wild in Britain, we don't just think about the destinations we travel to, we think about our own backyard um, and really help to rewild um, the country that we live in. And as part of all these efforts, and I know other people have talked about B Corp this week, which is fantastic, um, we are proud to be B Corp certified. And that means that we have been verified to meet high standards of social and environmental performance, transparency and accountability. And they look at absolutely everything you do as a business. They look at governance, how we treat workers, um, our relationships with our customers, the environment and the community. Now, B Corp is a starting point. It's not a case of we've got B Corp and now we've ticked that box, we can move on. Um, B Corp can go away again. Um, so what we want to do with B Corp is keep working to improve everything that we do in all of these areas year in, year out. Now, we can't talk about fairer travel and sustainability without talking about wildlife. And our wildlife policy can be summarised really by we want wildlife to be wild and nature to be natural, nice and easy to remember. Um, and what that means is that we won't ever knowingly compromise the welfare of an animal for the purpose of our trips. Uh, we want to protect animals and their natural environments um, and contribute towards the best welfare standards in the industry. We do have a no contact animal interaction policy. So you won't see things like um, animal experiences, um, elephant bathing, elephant rides, those sort of things on our tours. And we have a traffic light system for all of our animal interactions. And um, we do work with other partners as well on this commitment. Really importantly, one thing that we do is that we actively encourage our customers to let us know if they see anything on one of our trips that just doesn't sit right, it doesn't feel like something that we should be doing. And we really work hard with our tour leaders and our partners in destination to make sure that we are sticking to these principles. And it's not just about the animals. Of course, when we go to the places that we visit, we want to make sure that the communities are benefiting from us. Uh, we really strive to ensure that our trips maximise the positive impacts of tourism. Um, and we do that in quite a few different ways. One of the main things that we do is we, we stay in locally owned accommodation wherever we can. Um, and we use local guides where we can, because this means that our tourist money is staying in that destination. It's staying in the economy and it's helping that economy to grow. We really actively encourage our guests to spend money in locally owned shops and restaurants. We don't include loads of meals on our trips because we want people out there spending money in the local community. And we support community initiatives. We're really conscious of treading lightly, so we make sure we don't leave any litter, but we sponsor projects locally as well. One thing that we do is we discourage the use of single-use plastics. Um, and this is in the office in the UK as well. When I started with Explore, it was a real eye-opener to me because it's the first workplace that I've been to where nobody is carrying a Costa cup. No one is carrying an Evian bottle. Everyone's using reusables. Um, and we do that on our trips as well. So every time someone makes a booking with Explore, uh, we send them a link to buy a water-to-go bottle. Um, and this is a bottle that has a filtration system built into it. So you can drink the tap water or river water anywhere you go. So it's little things like this are all all about encouraging our customers to make the best choices. And we also have our fantastic Explore Foundation. Now we launched this last year. It's an independently run charity um, run by an independent board of trustees and it focuses on supporting the people, the planet and the places that we visit. For every single passenger that travels with Explore, we donate £2.50. 
and we can support some amazing projects with that. Shortly after the foundation was launched, there was the massive earthquake in Morocco that we all remember last year. And we were very quickly able to mobilize and raise 60,000 pounds to donate to the earthquake appeal to make sure we supported a country that's super important to us. You know, Morocco is a really big destination to us. And I just wanted to shout out one of the community um, initiatives that we support as well with the foundation. And this is Lahara. And Lahara are all about empowering remote communities in Nepal. Uh, this isn't the only one. There's lots of different initiatives, but I particularly like this one. Uh, because what it does is it's, it's a project developing sports massage services along the Everest Base Camp walking route. And what this does, um, at the moment, people leave Nepal to go and find work because there isn't sustainable jobs. And this allows people to have professional qualifications for long-term roles, meaning people can earn a good income from the tourist industry without leaving Nepal. It's a sustainable business and a huge 60% of the revenue from these services is invested back into community initiatives. So it's really, really supporting the local economy there. It's a fantastic initiative. Um, and talk about at home. We talked about a little bit about what we do in the office, but actually we do lots in the office. It's a great place to work. And because, you know, this is about fairer travel, our people are just as important as the planet and the environment. Um, and we think we do a great job. We're an ETHI verified living wage employer. Uh, we work from a carbon neutral office space and we have zero waste landfill in the office. Uh, we have fantastic policies for our teams. Um, we have something called a low carbon travel policy, which means that if we choose to take a sustainable travel option on our own personal holidays, we can claim some annual leave back for the extra time it takes. It's, again, encouraging people to make the right choices rather than lecturing them. Uh, we all have volunteer days. We're able to access workations. And there's an awful lot of mental, physical and financial support for our teams as well. So we really do take a holistic approach to the business about being a great place to work, a great place to do business with and great for the planet and the people that we work with. And because of that, we were lucky enough to win two awards. We did, of course, win the TTG Award for Sustainable Travel Company of the Year last year. And our Clear on Carbon initiative also won the Travel Bull Star Awards. Um, so it's all good news. Now, I know we're getting towards the end of the session. I'm the last speaker today, so thank you for sticking around for me. Um, if there's one message I'd like to give to you is that all of this is our responsibility. It's our responsibility as, a, as an operator. You guys have got hundreds of suppliers that you can use, okay? Um, you can't possibly be expected to know the ins and outs of every single supplier. So if you're looking for sustainable travel, look for those suppliers that have got things like Travel Life, B Corp. Look for the suppliers that you feel really confident recommending to your customers because it's our responsibility to minimize the negative impacts and give you the confidence to sell our product, knowing that you're selling an ethical business. So um, that's how I would like to wrap up today. If you'd like to hear any more about our partners and the things that we do, please do feel free to reach out to us. Um, there's three of us in the team. We're more than happy to answer any questions that you've got. Um, so please give us a shout. Um, I do, if we've got time, just want to show one more quick video. Um, it's not necessarily about sustainability, but it's more about our approach to travel and what makes our customers come back to us year in, year out. Um, I'd like to introduce you to a lovely gentleman called Brian, one of our customers. Thank you. My name's Brian. Uh, I've been on 91 uh, Explore trips so far. That's over a period of 40 years. My first Explore trip was in December 20... Uh, sorry, that's 1984, let's get it right. 1984 to uh, Southern India, a trip that you still have in the brochure. I think I would have to answer that by uh, going to Antarctica. Um, South Georgia in particular impressed me with literally millions of penguins. My top four in, uh, countries in the world are India because it's the most culturally diverse and Nepal because I'm a mountain nut. Uh, New Zealand because uh, it's just a stunningly beautiful country. The uh, fourth one is my favourite European country which is Italy. Uh, my next trip that I'm booked for is uh, in September to uh, the Lost Continent in uh, Madagascar. Go with an open mind. You are a guest in someone else's country and uh, basically try, uh, try, try things. 
Sheep's testicles in Iran, I think, would come well up the, the, the pecking order. Um, Still fried ants <laughs> in uh, Vietnam. I think those two I, I would uh, single out. Thank you. I'm absolutely loving the comments about Brian. He's an absolute legend and he really is living his best life. Um, and I do think we should do hashtag be more Brian. That should start trending. Um, that would be amazing. Um, so if anybody has any questions, I'm happy to take them. Um, if you'd rather talk offline, then by all means, drop me an email or give me a call. Thank you.